appreciated if you would improve the communication to the citizens who are here in this room who have actually live in the city, pay taxes, and are deeply concerned about this problem. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. But I don't know if it's longer tonight, but I just want to share, we talk a lot about communication and notification. Let me kind of tell you, and I'm not trying to get them here by any means, but I just want to share this with you. After this last event, EPD doesn't want us to contact you guys anymore because y'all are finding out before they find out. And people are making calls in there before they put in the information. So now we are, we're catching them all sides again, not playing the victim, but when it comes to communication, I'm not with it. But, you know, and I, I'm telling each one of you, I told them absolutely not, I'm not stop. They find us, whatever has to take place, I'm not going to stop doing that. And I'm with you about finding a better so, way of communicating. I, I, I this so your state regulatory agency is telling you not to push out information to the public? You mentioned it before, maybe that's, I think we should let the governor know we don't like that <laughs> idea. <laughs> 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 Devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and the quality of life on the river. So I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here? How do we, as a collective unit here, how do we work together in repairing the reputation of our river? And with the Coochie River, the Hall River, the Lapahoochee, all of them, to make it a better place and the people want to visit and canoe on and camp on and, and swim and fish in. So I, my, my question is how can we, where do we go from here in that aspect? Mm -hmm. We, for the next four quarters, I'll celebrate the fact we have a nice school. And then that starts cycling down the Google charts as well. With people who, um, one of the things we were talking about initially was, you know, you have some toy money and utilize it, to, everybody's cool with utilizing our public information officer to do that. <coughs> we never got back to that, and last year that was one of our goals to try to get some central marketing uh, uh, for our region on that eco tourism. I think that's a great idea, and it's showing, you know, we're working together with trying to get the problem solved. So marketing, one of the things I did talk about with EMC was perhaps some contribution to our region to have that marketing for us. That we were very willing to speak to that as well. So just another option that we may have to do exactly what you're talking about. And you know, terrorist events happen. We have, we have talk, started that conversation pretty pretty heavily as far as our next phase on how to improve the quality of life on the river. It's a market advantage. You have to make sure that you got minor. Um, I still want to develop our group with our parks and rec authority, but again, same what you are. Do it. And see what comes up. So I think it's your major market advantage down there, especially in the first areas. Like if you got water, and I think you got lots of land, and I think you got freedom. So two state parks and one private park. I think you also have a beetle plantation down there. I think you have a lot of market. I think it would be very attractive to like from the city to both. And we have Blue Springs at the Hamilton County, this one in Madison County, that's probably at one time one of the most visited. Deep uh, water, uh, what do you call it? Magnitude uh, 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 Mag Springs and visits from all over the world. You know, there now you don't see that. I, agree. I have one more quick question. How many um, commissioners do we have in the city? Or, well, no. Are they all city commissioners, city council members? How many are there? We have seven council. 
Okay, so how many are here tonight? One left. Are you one? And you're one. So we had four. My question is, I realize, for one thing, it's a church night. And some people do have other obligations on Wednesday nights. But considering that now, at this point in the meeting, we have three out of seven left here. My question is, are the commissioners, are you taking it seriously? Are, are you are you concerned and you, you realize because you do deal with your constituents whenever there's a problem. So you can imagine me dealing with the ones in my district as this comes down. And that's why I was just asking you because of the lack of attendance here. Maybe they just had other commitments and could not make it. It's been scheduled for a long time. I can I'm, promise you the three that we're missing at the start of this live for the months. And yes, and I realize Wednesday night meetings are difficult because of that reason. And really, in that case, you're putting the right thing first. I will say that. But I, I was just wondering. Thank you. And it pains us all. I promise you. I have an ecotourism point. John, you our last. Okay. It's related to the panel on January 18th. Well, yes, we need to do a lot of marketing, everybody, about things across both sides of the state line. And I'd like to thank the city of Valdosta for its support on the thing we're trying to do, which is the Troopville River Camp, which is a great ecotourism thing across the state line. But in order to counter the widespread perception and Google uh, search problem, we need data on which to base that. We need to know when the rivers are clean. And while everybody's here tonight because of all of the wastewater, that's not the only thing that gets into the river. So the only way to know that the rivers are clean is frequent, regular, closely spaced testing. Yet the city of Valdosta wanted to make a real good gesture that from uh, compared to one sewer line would not cost 